Hi guys! Good afternoon! Welcome back to my channel. Um, nandito na ako sa bahay guys. Hindi ako nag-film kanina sa work kasi um, yun lang din naman yung ginagawa ko. And um, same lang yung um, ginawa namin today from yesterday. So hindi ko na yun film. And maaga kaming umuwi today kasi it's Sunday. And yeah, it's weekend so we don't need to work the whole day. So ngayon, since nasa bahay na kami, tapos na ako maligo guys. Naligo lang ako. Yung mukha ko sobrang pula pa rin. Um, dahil yan sa weather natin kasi yung winter and yan. Sobrang kapag nag-work ka sa labas, ganito yung um, mangyayari sa skin mo dito. And sa aking mga kamay. So pakita ko lang sa inyo yung aking kamay guys. <laughs> sobrang ano, di ba Parang makapal and sobrang madumi. Ayan talaga yung mga... Kamay natin dito kapag nagtatrabaho ka sa um, dairy farm. So, shoutout sa mga nagtatrabaho sa dairy farm dyan. Hi sa inyo! So, ngayon guys, magluluto lang tayo ng ating um, ulam for tonight. Which is lumpiang toge. Um, gagawa ako nito guys. And plano ko na i-save yung iba para meron tayong uh, maluto na yung parang ano na lang. Yung madaling lutuin during lunch. Kasi... Alam niyo naman, busy na yung work namin, so hindi na tayo nakakapagluto ng um, masarap na ulam. And ngayon, sisimulan natin sa pagkat ng ating mga vegetables. ating sahog, um, sahog ba yung tawag dun? Yung stuffing ng ating um, lumpiang toge. So, pinakita ka niya sa inyo yung mga prepare ko ng mga ingredients. And while the pan is heating, mag-shoutout lang ako sa mga nagpapashoutout sa akin, guys. And before anything else, I would like to say thank you muna sa inyo, guys. Maraming salamat sa walang sawang support, ha. And, um, yeah, sa pag appreciate ng aking videos na pinopost. So, shout out kay Norbert Emanuel. Oh, let me say it again. So, shout out kay Norbert Emanuel Esles. Shout out kay Dudes. Hi, Dudes. Shout out kay Kevin Ibarra. Si Kevin Ibarra is dairy farmer din na nagtatrabaho doon sa um, West Coast sa my South Island. So, maraming beses na kaming nakapunta dyan sa West Coast and we really love that place. Although, it's really far, sobrang far ng um, lugar niyo sa siyudad, di ba? But maganda, malapit sa, malapit sa dagat. But hi, Kevin! Um, and then, meron, meron pang nagpapashoutout. Marami sila, actually. Um, so, ito yung um, gagamitin natin na meat, guys. Pork beans. Nabili namin siya last, uh, yesterday. So, pumunta kami sa grocery yesterday. Um, it's 500 grams. And yung price niya is $6.33. So, not bad. While waiting for that to heat, guys, mag-shout out ulit ako sa aking good friend na si um, Mama La Jerwin. Um, mayroon siyang YouTube channel, guys. Um, gumagawa siya ng mga travel vlogs. Um, his YouTube channel is The Teacher Traveler. So, isa siyang um, teacher sa Pilipinas and he loves traveling as well. So, if you would like to see um, a travel vlogs, you might as well go to his channel and check out his vlogs. And meron ta meron mga mga nagpapa shout out kay I don't know if I pronounced this right or if I read this right but yung YouTube channel niya is Christenders um that spells like C R S T N D R S 1109 so I'm not sure if that's 
the right way to pronounce your name, but hi to you, Christinders. And then, meron pa si Joseph Hita. Um, Tagaria, Saudi Arabia siya. And pinapanood doon niya yung vlog ko. Sobrang thank you sa panonood po. Um, NZ Boys, hi! So, I'm assuming na dito ka sa NZ nakatira. So, hi sa'yo. Um, kay Hazel Ilagan. Hi, hi Hazel, and God bless din sa'yo. Kay um, AJ Fanchon. AJ, AJ Fanchon. Um, I hope I read it right. Kay Rumel, Rumel, Ronel Incierto. Rumel Incierto. He was asking kung malamig ba daw dito. Yes, malamig na ngayon kasi winter na. Pero actually, iba yung lamig this season. Kasi last year, it was... Kasi nandun kami sa part ng NZ na nasa gitna. Whereas dito, nandito kami sa East Coast. And malamig talaga. Gigisa ko lang yung mga ano guys kasi mainit na siya. Okay, so let's continue the shout out guys. Marami pa sila. Um... So yeah, I said na na shout out ko na si Ronel yan si Erto. Sana ma-approve na yung visa mo, Ronel. Um shout out din kay Jenica Prudente. Um thank you. Thank you si sa panonood ha. Um thank you kay JD Lumagpas. He's from Iloilo City. Hi sa inyo. Nakapunta na ako sa Iloilo before kasi taga diyan yung family ng um ng partner ko na si Mike. So pupunta kami diyan sa May Ibaras and we really love it. Matagal na yun, mga um, 2011 pa. And the next one, hello kay David A. Mumar Jr. from CDO. He was a applying a student visa sa NPA. So, hi sa'yo. Hi again, guys. So, today, upo lang ako, guys. Para ang taas ko. Lilipat po lang kayo, guys. Um... So, um, yung niluluto ko guys, natapos ko na siyang lutuin. Uh. So, natapos ko nang lutuin yung niluluto ko. So, for now, while waiting for that na lumamig, gagawin muna natin ito guys. So, shurak. Matagal na namin itong nabili guys and hindi, nakalimutan ko na kasi siya and hindi ko na siya nagawa. And Mike was always telling me na gawin ito and he offered na siya na lang daw gumawa pero... Sabi ko, no, kasi ipapakita ko pa siya sa vlog. So, ngayon, since naalala ko siya, we're gonna do it. So, ito yung itsura niya, guys. This one is not too expensive. I think it's only like, um, 25 New Zealand dollars. I'm not sure, ha? Kasi matagal na namin ito nabili, pero hindi siya, hindi siya kamahalan. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung, kung ano yung quality niya, kung maganda ba yung quality niya. Kasi sa the warehouse lang namin siya nabili. So, may pag-uusapan tayo ngayon, guys, while I'm doing this one. We are going to talk. We are going to talk about the salary na... So, nakita nyo naman sa title ng video na to, guys. We are going to talk about the tax and the salary dito sa New Zealand. But first, before that one, guys, labas ko lang itong ating... Um... Shura. So, impressive. Maganda yung quality niya, actually. It's really cute. So, ayan yung um, parang patungan niya, guys. Puti. We wanted the black one, pero wala yata silang stock that time. So, ito na lang yung binili namin. So, meron siyang mga ganito yung mga bolts. And, ito yung sa gilid niya. And then, ito pa. So, may manual siya, guys. So, meron siyang manual. But before that, we are going to talk muna about the salary and the tax na dito sa New Zealand. Kasi recently, guys, na-realize ko na hindi pa pala ako nakapag- vlog, eh, hindi ko pa pala na, na topic yung 
um, tax dito sa New Zealand and the salary. So, una sa lahat, um, na-mention ko na before na yung sahod dito sa New Zealand is depende of course sa position mo. Um, if you are starting, if you're just starting dairy farming dito guys and your position is dairy farm assistant, so your salary will be 40,000 New Zealand dollars annually. So deducted dyan yung ating tax which is I said before na 27 to 28% but I'm not sure during the time ha kasi yun lang yung um naalala ko noon nung um nagsisimula pa lang kami but na research ko siya guys and yung yung tax din sa New Zealand is basically nagde-depend kung magkano yung kita mo so if you are earning around 0 to 14,000 New Zealand dollars your tax rate will be 10.5% so yun yung um Let's compute that one, guys. So, if you're earning 14,000 annually, so yung tax mo is 10.5. So, yung tax mo a year is 1,470. One yung less na, yung deducted na tax doon sa kita mo, doon sa sahod mo, uh, which is 0 to 14,000 New Zealand dollars annually. And then, kapag above 14,000 up to... 48,000 New Zealand dollars. So dito na fall yung uh, yung sahod ng mga um, farm assistant natin which is 40,000 New Zealand dollars nga. So yung tax ng um, dairy farm assistant guys is around 17.5%. So again yung sahod diyan is from 14,000 New Zealand dollars up to 48 thousand New Zealand dollars annually. So since yung sahod ng dairy farm assistant is 40,000 New Zealand dollars, yung um tax deduction diyan is 17.5%, which is we will compute, guys. So 40,000 New Zealand dollars and then yung tax is 17. Point, wait. Yung tax is 7.5%. So 7,000 New Zealand dollars yung um tax mo dyan. So if you are going to divide that into 12, so 583 monthly yung sa uh, yung tax na din deduct sa sahod mo. So yung um yung sahod naman na 48 to 70,000 dollars dito na fall yung sahod ng ating um, second in charge, which is 2IC or assistant farm manager and yung farm manager. Kasi yung farm manager natin is 70,000 yung, um, yung rate niya, yung minimum na rate niya. And depende pa, depende pa yan sa qualifications mo. Kasi yung manager namin before, yung um, doon sa una namin farm, she is she's doing um, the AI kasi AI technician din siya. And then she's been farming her whole life. So she's had a lot of qualifications and she's really good at farming. So yung sahod niya is around 100,000 New Zealand dollars or more. Kasi I'm not really sure but it, I'm sure that it's over 100,000 New Zealand dollars. So yeah, farm manager siya and yan yung sahod niya. So dito, since yung, um, yung ating 2IC and yung farm, yung starting na farm manager is na fall dito sa bracket na ito, yung tax mo dito guys is is around 30%. So since 30% yung tax mo dito, we're gonna compute it again. So let's say for example, you are a 2IC and you're earning, kasi most this 2IC dito guys is 56,000 New Zealand dollars yung sahod. So let's say 56,000 New Zealand dollars, less natin yung 30% na tax, it's 16,800 New Zealand dollars yearly yung tax mo and then if you're going to divide it into 12 you say 1400 yung deduction sa sahod mo and i'm going to like compute for you guys ha bigyan ko kayo ng sample kung magkano talaga yung na-deduct um i-deduct natin dito yung um bahay yung rent mo sa bahay yung internet and um yung tax so yung internet natin, babasihan natin doon sa um, sa internet namin before doon sa bahay namin. So let's say for example, we are earning 56,000 New Zealand dollars and yun na nga yung deduction, 
1,400 per month na um, deduction for the tax. And then, let's add the um, the rent. So let's say, for example, 200 yung rent per week. So we are going to... Um, so I'm going to give you an example. Let's say you are earning 56,000 New Zealand dollars. So your tax will be 16,800 annually. And if we're going to divide it into um, 12 months, so monthly siya guys, magiging 1,400 siya man monthly. So ilan na lang yung matitirang sahod mo doon sa um, 56,000 New Zealand dollars na na-deduct na natin yung tax which is 16,800. So ang natira na lang doon is 39,200. So yung 39,200 i-divide natin siya per um per month. So meron ka na lang 3,266.66 New Zealand dollars monthly na sinasahod. Since nakuha na natin dyan yung tax, yung kukunin na lang natin dyan sa monthly mo na 3,266 is yung house rent, yung internet, and then yung um, um, kuryente. So, since yung bahay mo is $200 per week per month, that is 800 So, let's... And then, less natin yung ating kuryente, which is 200 Iles natin yung ating um, internet, which is 100. So, meron ka na lang 2,166.66 na sahod monthly. So, malaki siya guys, ba? So, um, ano pa ba, ba yung less? If you are, like, paying weekly sa car mo, Iles mo dyan yung kung magkano yung weekly na binabayaran mo. And depend, magdedepende yan kasi sa kung anong car na kinuha mo, kung gano'n siya kalaki, and blah blah blah. Plus yung, um, yung budget mo sa food, and if you're going out. So, ikaw nang bahalang mag-budget dyan sa natira mo. And this one, guys, dinivide ko siya sa 56,000 New Zealand dollars, which is um, sahod ng 2IC dito sa New Zealand. So, malaki siya, guys. Malaki yung, um, malaki yung kita mo. So, basically, kung gaano kalaki yung kita mo, ganun din, malaki din yung tax na kinukuha nila sa'yo. And then, kung yung kita mo naman is above 70,000, yung, yung um, tax na kukunin nila sa'yo is 33%. So, malaki talaga guys. Sobrang laki ng tax dito sa New Zealand. So, I hope na na, na, um, na enlighten ko kayo about sa sahod and sa tax dito sa New Zealand guys. While doing, um, so now, gawin na natin itong ating, ano guys. Tapos ko na siyang gawin. Ito na yung ating finish na product. Nice siya, no? Maganda siya. Yan. Matibay din siya. So, yun lang yung ating vlog today, guys. Sana na-enjoy nyo yung aking munting vlog. And sa mga nag-subscribe sa akin recently, thank you so much, guys, kasi we are growing every single day. We are growing kahit na pakunti-kunti, but unti unti but we are really growing. Kaya maraming salamat sa inyo guys sa pag-support and sa pag-subscribe. Um, I hope na na-enjoy ninyo ang aking munting vlog and malapit na tayong mag-2,000 subscribers. So, yay! Kung may mga gusto pa kayong i-topic natin sa susunod nating mga videos, sana i-comment nyo dito guys and we will get through it next time. So, yun lang guys. Maraming salamat. Sana manood pa kayo sa mga vlogs na ipopost ko next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye!